so we finally made it to beautiful Bogota, Colombia. It was quite the adventuresome journey to get yes. here. It was one of the craziest flights that we've ever had. Our first flight was canceled. We had Air Canada going to Toronto and then down to Bogota with just a single layover. And the morning we were supposed to be getting on that flight, we got a notification from Air Canada that the entire trip had been canceled mm -hmm. and that we couldn't get to Bogota on Air Canada until the next day. So then we scheduled flights to replace those flights through Delta. Spent a lot more money through Delta because mm -hmm. Delta insisted that they could get us to Bogota that day. Mm -hmm. So we bought tickets for ourselves and for seats for our harps. Yes, with the layover in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then that flight was delayed. So once we got to Atlanta, we had missed the flight to Bogota. And so Delta told us that the only way we could possibly get to Bogota by even the very next morning was to then first fly to Mexico City. So, so we flew to Mexico City and that was a crazy airport. We had to leave the airport and get on a bus to get to another side of the airport. We were on a bus driving around Mexico City. So when we got to Mexico City, the airline that had been contracted by Delta was Avianca. And they told us that we could under no circumstances bring our harps onto the flight and put them on seats even though we had bought two seats for our harps. So we had to check the harps. They told us there were no seats at all on the plane and when we got into the plane we were the very last ones to board. There were seats everywhere. Tons of seats. And so we had to, we had to check our harps in their soft cases because Avianca told us that if we didn't put our harps into baggage that we couldn't get to Bogota. Thankfully our harps made it okay which is mm -hmm. kind of a miracle. It and is. we are now in Bogota. Yay! We are in zero sleep, but we will be heading soon to our first TV interview of this trip. And then there's the opening concert tonight. It's gonna be fun. Today we're going to be performing on several national and international TV shows and participating in a conversatorio with the other international artists. And then a heart party tonight. Good.
Colombia, estas gemelas que tocan el arpa de una manera hermosa, la extensión de su cuerpo. Y how are you? Welcome to Colombia again. Oh, we're so happy to be back. We are so happy. We are too. Which is the most thing that you like from Colombia? love how the theater seating goes way, way up. It's beautiful. It's in here in our dressing room at the Colson City of Theater. Here we are, waiting to go on. It took the train up. We're, We're taking the cable car now. Yeah. So gorgeous. Montserrat? Yeah.
Oh my gosh, it's so purple. So pretty. Okay. We are on our way up. Look at this beautiful hike, and oh, it's yeah. so gorgeous, and the birds, birds are, are chirping. Tropical. Yeah. Oh. You can actually you can feel the elevation, because we're at the top of the Andes, so the air is thinner here. <laughs> Can't wait for the views of Bogota. Mm -hmm. And there's Bogota. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And we made it to the top, looking down on Bogota. This is the view from the chapel, very top of the mountain. Well, that's an opera. Well, that's all. We're here in Blue Market. Can you hear us? Yeah. We're going to eat food that's maybe questionably clean. Yeah. That's very casual, kind of like. Thank you. We found this little restaurant at the top of the mountain so we are trying these plantains with cheese and guava I believe. Hopefully it's clean. Look at the view from this little cafe. Gracias por su visita al Cerro de Montserrat, Santuario de los Colombianos. Montserrat está abierto durante todo el año para vivir diferentes experiencias. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 <